Hello, uh, good day everyone. To my grade 10 STE, Fibonacci and Kepler students. So here is um, our topic for today. Finding a general term. Or the nth term. of a sequence. Okay, so finding a general term or the end term of a sequence. So, so previously we have learned that that um, for for sequences that has a common difference, it is called a sequence that is linear in linear in in nature. No, so a sequence that is linear in nature. For so, like for example, three, five. 7, 9, 11. So this is uh, an equation, uh, a sequence which is linear in, in, in nature because there is a first common difference. And what is the common difference for this, sec for this sequence that is 2? You know? So because, because each term is added by 2 in order, to get, uh, in order to, to get the next term. So, so this is what we call a sequence which is linear in nature. And what is all, again the general term the, or the form, the general form of the sequence which is linear in nature? That is a n plus b is equal to a sub n. No? So a n plus b is equal to a sub n. Now take a look at this um, um, sequence. Now for example, you are asked to find the general term. Find the general term of the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Okay. So, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on. Now, you are asked to find the general term of this sequence. Now, if you are going to observe 1, 3, 6, 10, and 15, there is no common difference, no? There is no common difference. Meaning to say, the next term um, is not obtained by adding a, a, a by adding a constant, no? So one to three, what happened? So nag-add na two. Tapos three to six, so hindi two yung inad. So magkaiba sila. So there is no common difference here. So here, um, the difference between the first and the second term is two. For the second term to the third term, the difference is 3 to 6, that is, ano, 3. Tapos, the difference from the third term to the fourth term, 6 to 10, what is the difference? That is, 4. And the difference from the fourth term to the fifth term is 5, correct? Ano, 10 to 15, that is 5. So, hindi common yung differences nila, unlike dito sa first example. So, in this case, hindi siya linear in nature. Now, now take a, um, observe the, the first difference. If you are going to, to get the differences of the, of the first difference, 2 to 3, ano yung difference nila? 1. 3 to 4, 1. 4 to 5, 1. No? So, there, it, this is now the common difference. So, we here, in this case, we have a second common common difference, ano? Second common difference. So, yung ganitong form, the sequence the 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, because their differences is at the second terms, ano? Second common difference. So, this is what we call quadratic in nature. Ano? Quadratic in nature. And what is the general form of the sequence which is quadratic in nature? That is a n squared plus b n plus c is equal to a sub n, where a sub n represents the the, the n term. So a n squared plus b n plus c is equal to a sub n. So that is quadratic in nature. Now, okay. So, what are we going to do now is to find the general term of this sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Okay, so our first term, our a sub 1 is 
1, our a sub 2, the second term is 3, and our third term, a sub 3, is 6. So, in this case, we have three variables, a, b, and c. So, ito yung hahanapin natin, yung mga value ng a, b, and c, para mahanap natin yung general term of this sequence using this for Okay, so, so if, so, if n is equal to 1 for the first term, no? For n is equal to 1, so using the um, formula a n squared plus b n plus c is equal to a sub n. So our, so what are you going to do now? So to substitute 1 for n in this, in this um, equation. So that will be a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c is equal to the first term which is 1. So, so continuously, okay, a times 1 squared is a plus b times 1 is b plus c is equal to 1. So this is our equation 1. No? And for the second term, for n is equal to 2. No? For n is equal to 2, that is, so you substitute 2 for n in that, in that um, form, a n squared plus b n plus c is equal to a sub n. So that will be a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c is equal to the second term. Our second term is 3 para makuha natin yung next equation. So a times 2 squared, 2 squared is ano, 4. So 4 times a is 4a plus b times 2 is 2b plus c is equal to 3. So this is our equation 2. Now, hindi natin, so for equations in, um, involving three variables, kailangan natin tatlong equation din. Hindi, hindi, na, hindi natin masusolve yung mga bar, value ng mga, mga variables kung dalawang equation lang. So, kung dalawang equation lang, um, two variables lang, only two equations can, can do. Pero when dealing with three variables, you need three equations. So, 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 so kailangan mo yung third term. So, for the third term, where n is equal to 3, so that will be a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c is equal to, what is our third term? Here we have 6 is equal to 6. So, so simplifying further, a times 3 squared, what is 3 squared? That means 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So, 9 times a is 9a. Ano? So, a times 3 squared is 9a plus b times 3 is 3b plus c is equal to 6. So, this is our equation 3. Okay, so, meron na tayong tatlong equation. So, what are we going to do next is to solve for the values of a, b, and c. So, by using the system of linear equation in, two, in three variables. So, pero ang pag-solve natin dito, dala-dalawa lang, no? So, for, take for example, we solve first for one variable into in either of the three equations. So, pwede tayong pumili kahit anong equation ang gamitin natin para masolve natin ang isang variable. So, say, for example, let's take equation 1 and equation 2. So, equation 1 and equation 2 para masolve natin ang isang variable. So, equation 1 is a plus b plus c equals 1. a plus b plus c is equal to 1. And our equation 2, we have 4a. 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 3. So, okay. So, using the method of solving systems of linear equation, okay, so we can apply here the elimination method. No? So, anong variable ang pwede natin eliminate para ma masolve natin ang isang variable? So, ang pinakamadali yung walang numerical coefficient, meaning parehas ang numerical coefficient. So, dito, c. C ang the same ang numerical coefficient. So, pwede natin siya ma-eliminate kaagad. Only, kung ang isang variable is um, iba ang sign. So, dapat ang isang maging negative. So, what are we going to do now is to negate the second equation. I-negate mo, ano? Para, para magkaiba ang sign. So, you multiply all of this second equation by negative. Ano pa? Negative 1 para maging negative yung C para ma-eliminate siya. So, mag if we will multiply this by negative, magiging negative. Negative 4A, ito magiging negative. Negative 2B, ito magiging negative C. Para ma-eliminate yung ano? C, 
uh, minus c will become 0. So, so this will also become negative 3. So simplifying further, a minus 4a is negative 3a. Um, b minus 2b is negative b, tapos 0 na siya. Then 1 and negative 3 will become negative 2. So, um, pwede na natin masolve yung b. Ano? So, transpose negative 3a to the right or negative b to the right na lang ang i-transpose natin. So, magiging positive b ano? para mas madali. Tapos yung negative 2, transpose to the left, magiging 2, positive 2, minus 3a. So, therefore, so we have now the value of b. B is equal to 2 minus 3a or B is equal to 2 minus 3a. So mayroon na tayong value ng a. So next is we can so we can solve for okay, we can now solve for the value of the value of one variable if we substitute b, ano? If we substitute b in the first equation. So we substitute b which is 2 minus 3 in a plus b plus c is equal to is equal to 1. Ah, no, in the third equation, 9a kasi galing siya sa, sa first and second equation. So gagamitin natin yung third equation. 9a plus 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 6. So, what are we going to do now is to substitute B in, in, the, in the third equation. So, it will become 9A plus 3 times the value of B, which is 2 minus 3A, 2 minus 3A, uh, copy plus C is equal to 6. So, simplifying using the um, distributive properties, so magiging 9a plus 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9a plus c is equal to 6. So, combine like terms, 9a minus 9a, magiging 0. Tapos, so you will have c. Tapos, combine 6 and positive 6. So, um, transposing positive 6 to the right, magiging negative 6 to 6. 6 minus 6 will become 0. So, meron na tayong value ng C. C is equal to 0. So now, since we already have the value of C, which is 0, pwede na natin i-solve yung, solve yung value ng A. So, so pwede na natin ma-solve ang A by using the first equation. A plus B plus C is equal to 1. So, so we have A plus substitute the value of B again by using this para maging same variable. Isa na lang ang variable. 2 minus 2 minus 3a plus ano yung c natin na nakuha 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. So a minus 3a is ano, negative 2a tapos 1 tapos transpose positive 2 to the right mag negative 2. Ano? So wala na yung 0. So simplifying further you have negative 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So, then, solving for A, you divide both sides by negative 2, no? So, cancel, so your A is equal to negative divided by negative, magiging positive, so positive 1. So, mayroon na tayo na value ng A, which is positive 1. So, ano na lang ang kunan natin? Yung va value na, exact value ng B. So, you solve for B using this equation. B is equal to 2 minus 3A. So, substitute A, which is 1 half, so B is 2 minus 3 times 1 half. Ano? So you have 2. Um, 3 times 1 half is negative 3 over, over 2. And 3, negative 3 over 2, that is equal to 1 and 1 half. Ano? So 2 minus 1 and 1 half, tira. 1 half nala. Or if we use the, um, the, if we are going to apply the, um, the rules in solving fractions, ano? So, a, a whole number and a fraction sa elementary. So, you find first the, the LCD. So, the LCD is 2. Then, um, multiply the LCD by the whole number. 2 times 2 is 4. Then, divide the LCD by the denominator and multiply to the numerator. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times negative 3 is 3. So, simplify further. So, you have 4 minus 3 is 1 over... So, B is equal to 1 half. 
Okay, so therefore, the general form of the sequence is that a sub n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. So, a, ano yung value ng a? 1 half n squared plus ano ang value ng b? 1 half n. Tapos, ang value ng c is 0, so wala na siya. So, therefore, this is the general term of the sequence 1, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 is a sub n is equal to 1 half n squared plus 1 half n. That's all and thank you.